Time to see if they've updated the gender list. They have 63 genders up there, but they can't have my gender. Bro, what are you doing? Bro? Did, did you just assume my gender? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to misgender you. I'm... You're such a hellophobe. Get out! And that's why the title of this video is what the title of this video is. If you don't know me, I'm EGF Ron, a.k.a. Ron, a.k.a. every single girl on this planet's fantasy. You know me to do it for your mom, sister, grandma, auntie, niece, cousin, in-law, best friends, boyfriends, girlfriend, your dad, sister-in-law, your mom's best friend, your girl, your sister's ex-best friend. It's me. I can pull them all. But as you the title, man, the boy deserved this. You just saw the clip. You just saw the clip. And no way am I hating on, tra on trans people. I'm not transphobic at all. I think trans people deserve all the rights in the world, just like how I think women deserve all the rights in the world. I think everybody deserves equal rights regardless. I don't make that clear before I get into this video. I don't want anybody that's gay or trans to be offended by anything. And I mean anything that I say. Am I going to censor myself? No, though. I'm not. I'm going to be real here, but you know my you know my morals. I think everybody deserves respect. But now that that's out of the way, this boy deserves the hate that he's getting on Twitter. If you don't know who Chris Tyson is... He's one of Mr. Beast's best friends, at least on camera, him and my boy Chandler. And a lot of attention has been going on about this man on Twitter. Mr. Beast has been trending for like two or three days all because of this situation. If you don't know, Chris Tyson originally was a man. He is now he is now a trans woman. And the internet isn't reacting too kindly, mostly because of what I just showed y'all. Now, y'all saw the clip. Those clips were from 2018. And as people dive more and more and more into this controversy slash drama, my boy was married four years ago. My boy had a kid two, he had a son two years ago, man. Two years ago, and people are not reacting too kindly to that either because it turns out that I didn't really believe this when I was younger. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all. Those insecure people that make fun of a certain thing because they are that thing, like people being homophobic and they're actually are homo slash gay. Insecurity is loud, man. You knew back then. There's no way that you didn't know or have your suspicions back then. And you got married and had a kid. And now that you came out like this, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's coming to the light, Chris. I'm not gonna lie to you. Another one. That people, another controversy as of late is the Mr. Beast thing. For It's been years now. All these controversies going on with Mr. Beast and everyone criticizing him for spending his money on helping people and providing services to people, curing illnesses. Everybody was looking for that one thing, that one thing that they could pull up on Mr. Beast and cancel him for. And they got it now because of you, Chris. They got it because of Chris. I'm going to put the clip on screen. By its cover. You never know if your best friend identifies as a vehicle. You don't know if they have a rotor or an engine inside of them, okay? Just be accepting, okay? It's 2016. The last thing you want to do is offend someone, okay? Just be accepting of vehicles trapped inside of human bodies, all right? Yeah, it looks like Mr. Beast was transphobic in the past. You know, again, everybody has a past. I'm a firm believer that everybody can grow from their past and become a better person. But once you become that thing, it's one thing. Thing, damn, that's not, I don't mean thing like that. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. I don't mean like that. It was more like an analogy coming to play. Don't don't cancel me, okay? Once you become the thing that you once hated or shitted on or put down, you put down trans people when they was at the hardest point in life, when they was trying to get everybody to take them serious. They was trying to get their respect. They was trying to get their rights. And you put them down. And now four or five years later, when it's more acceptable to be trans, when they got a little, when they got more rights, I'm not sure on all the rights they've gained, but I'm pretty sure it's more than five years ago when everyone was making jokes about them. But now that the trend is over making fun of them, you want to join their team, you're basically Kevin Durant. You're KD. You always wanted to be that, and you decided to make fun of them. And again, the fingers on Mr. Beast now, because now he's in the spotlight. Chris... You're known, don't get me wrong, but let's be real, you're just a sidekick to Mr. Beast. And there's nothing wrong with that, because I wish I was a sidekick to Mr. Beast. Not gonna lie to you. But the attention's on him. Like I just showed you in the clip, the man was transphobic in the past. A lot of people were looking for something to put on Mr. Beast, and they got it. They got a pat. They have him being transphobic in the past. The crazy thing about it is, Mr. Beast isn't safe in this controversy either, because this man's a hypocrite. So, I, I was bored, you know, on Twitter. You know, just invested in the drama, because, you know, I'm bored on a Friday. Nothing to do Friday night, even though it's hot as hell outside. I'm burning up here in the city. But I found Mr. Beast. I found, I saw Mr. Beast defending his friend. There's nothing wrong with defending your friend. The problem with defending your friend is what you said. All right. So a YouTuber of the name Sunny V2 posted a video saying, why Chris will soon be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. I didn't watch the video. I'm not going to watch the video because I'm not that invested. Mr. Beast responded saying, yeah, this is getting absurd. 
Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend and thing, things are fine. All this transpho all this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Now, Mr. Beast, you can't do that, man. You can grow. Don't get me wrong. You can grow. Every action has a consequence. And it just so happens that the actions of Mr. Beast and Chris Tyson came four or five years after they did the action. And again, a firm believer that you can grow and be a better person. But um, hypocrisy has to be held accountable too. Now again, I do see the spotlight of just as, I don't know what this video is about, but there is one more point of view that I think needs to be addressed here. It puts Mr. Beast in a very, very tough position. And I don't know how tough a position because I don't know Mr. Beast slash Jimmy personally. Shit, if it was me, I probably wouldn't care if I was Mr. Beast. Would have put him in a situation where, okay, if that clip we just showed about two minutes ago is true and he is slightly or transphobic at all, and I'm not going to try and guess what Mr. Beast is thinking if he should, if he's debating it with himself, if he should or shouldn't be friends with Chris anymore, but um, if he stopped making videos with Chris because of all this controversy, him being transphobic may or may not be confirmed. Like, you may be a confirmed transphobic person now, like, to the trans community. I'm not saying all of us. I'm, it's a good portion of people that just simply don't care. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Not your business. But if you keep making videos with Chris, I'm not going to lie. Them comment sections is going to get a little toxic. I'm not going to hold you. Those comment sections is going to be nothing but full of, I miss the old Chris. We already, hey, if you watch Mr. Beast, you know, we already get the old, the comment saying, I miss this person that used to be in videos. I miss that person. Take Chandler and Chris out and put these people back in and all that other shit. A lot of negative attention has been put towards Mr. Beast. A lot of legit negative attention because of this situation. And my take on all of this is, nobody should care. I never really understood why celebrities or YouTubers get idolized. And this is idolization, whether you try and argue it or not. I don't understand how celebrities get idolized to this point of view that every single move that they make is under a microscope. Are they big? Does it come with the territory? 100% it comes with the territory. But um, why do y'all care? Don't get me wrong. Chris deserves all this. I don't want to say deserve. Nobody deserves hate. He doesn't deserve hate. But Chris deserves all of this backlash. That's what comes with hypocrisy. That right there is what comes with hypocrisy when you make all these damn jokes. All these edgy jokes. Matter of fact, you attacked thousands of people. You attacked Islamic people. You attacked feminists. You attacked um, trans people. All of this, I don't want to say hate because that's a strong, mean word, but all this backlash to your hypocrisy is a thousand percent earned. But back to the point, I don't see why anybody cares about any of this. I don't see why y'all use the time of your day to even like comment on a situation like this when it doesn't affect you. It doesn't pertain to you. Think about his wife. You don't think all this backlash is going to affect his wife? As big as Mr. Beast is now, you don't think his son is going to see all this one day about his dad? When he sees old pictures of his dad being a male and now he's a trans woman or trans female, however that goes. All I'm saying is, it's not that, it's not your business, it's not that deep to you, and why in the entire F do you care? I don't see why celebrities is idolized to this pedestal where if they do anything, and I mean anything that is negative or controversial, they get blown up on Twitter, they get made fun of about it, and they can't live their life in any any ways they want so i know that comes with the territory if i ever or when i hit a million subs if i they pull up some shit on me from five years ago i gotta start deleting fucking videos they ever pull some up on me from five years ago i'm gonna have an apology video i'm gonna mean it by the way trust me i'm gonna mean it i'm gonna mean it but damn can i not make mistakes my mistakes have consequences in the future but damn but that's it man i'm not gonna comment on the situation too much more because um <laughs> looks like chris and mr reese got a lot on their plate already I love you guys more than I love myself. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, man. Just hit the subscribe button. Why not? I'm trying to hit a thousand subs before my birthday. So I hit the fucking sub button. I'm going to come in your room. I'm going to do something nasty. Like the video and just comment down below your take on the Chris situation. We're posting two to three times a week. So I'm going to see you on Monday, man. We out. Peace.